about range and null space of a linear transformation. Today, I will discuss this topic elaborately. I have seen in my earlier video when a linear transformation be 1, 1 and on 2. And actual goal of today's lecture is rank nullity in theorem. By this lecture, I will say if a homogeneous equation with n variables, then the dimension of null space is n minus rank of a. This is actually the number of free variable. We all of us know null space means number of free variable. And by this theorem, I will see that not only dimension of null space, I will see also dimension of range space. This is our goal of actual today's video. By this theorem, we can easily find when a linear transformation be 1, 1 or on 2 or when a linear transformation be bisecting. Okay? And by this rank nullity theorem, I will can to find some nice question. By this theorem, I will say there exists no linear transformation from R5 to R3 which can be 1 to 1. Also, I will say another question, another such type of question. If T be a linear transformation from R3 to R3, which is linear and 1 to 1, then obviously this transformation is 1 to. Also, another type of question. T be a linear transformation from R3 to R3, which is on to, then rank T equal to dimension of V. By this theorem, I will see such type of question. And this is actual goal of this lecture to find easily such type of question by this theorem. At first, as recall, in my earlier video, I had discussed Carneltian range T with some example. Today, I will discuss some extra example because this topic is more important for any competitive exam. Also, I had discussed in my earlier video some properties of Carneltian MST. Just recall this property also. I had seen if T be a linear transformation from V1 to V2, then kernel T always subspace of V1 and image T always will be subspace of V2. And T is 1 1 if and only if kernel T equal to 0. And this transformation is on to when image T is equal to whole V2. At first, I will highly recommend you if you don't see my previous video, at first see earlier video, then today's video would be so easy. Okay, so let's see one example because this type of example are very important for competitive exam. First example, T from M to R to R2X. R2X means set of all polynomial of degree 2. Here the linear transformation is such type T of A, B, C, D equal to a plus b plus c plus 2 dx plus 2 c plus 4 dx square. At first verify t is a linear mapping. Obviously t is a linear mapping because this is the combination of x1 x x square. Now verify what is the kernel t. Kernel t is equal to set of all 2 cross 2 matrices which sends to 0 polynomial. That means set of those matrix A, B, C, D such that this matrix sends to 0 polynomial. Here 0 polynomial means A plus B would be equal to 0, C plus 2D equal to 0 and 2C plus 4D equal to 0. And notice 2C and 2C plus 4D is similar to just multiply this to C plus 2D. That means only A plus 2B equal to 0 and C plus 2D equal to 0. And from this expression, we can write b equal to minus a and d equal to minus c over 2. That means matrix are such type a, 
माइनस ए सी माइनस सी ओवर टू हाँ ए बी बिलोंग्स टू रियल नंबर दैट मीन्स सच टाइप ऑफ मैट्रिक्स बिलोंग्स टू द कार्निल ऑफ लिनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ओके नाउ आई विल सी बेसिस ऑफ दिस कार्निल टी दिस इज इक्वल टू ए टाइम्स वन माइनस वन जीरो जीरो प्लस सी टाइम्स जीरो 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 माइनस वन ओवर वन ओवर हाफ सॉरी हियर वुड बी वन एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली स्पैन ऑफ दिस टू फैक्टर हियर फर्स्ट फैक्टर बी वन माइनस वन जीरो जीरो एंड सेकेंड फैक्टर बी जीरो जीरो वन माइनस हाफ ओके एंड ऑबियसली दिस टू फैक्टर बी लिनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट एंड स्पैन द कार्निल ऑफ दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सॉरी हियर वन प्रिंटिंग मिस्टेक हैज डन हियर नॉट बी हियर सी ओके एंड सीन्स द कार्निल कॉन्टेंट दिस टू फैक्टर हुईज आर लिनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट so dimension of kernel t equal to 2 are you getting how we have to find basis of kernel t of linear transformation oh yeah. now let's verify what is the image of this transformation and what will be basis of this transformation for this I'll apply this method because i had seen when T be a linear transformation from v1 to v2. If u1, u2, un be span of v1, then T u e1, T u2 up to T un is span of image T, which is subset of v2. Also, image T actually be the subspace of v2. If we want to use this theory here now. Apply this basis element on this transformation. When I will apply this matrix, then I will get one. Then, when I will apply this term, then I will get one. After applying this term, this matrix, I will get x plus two x square. And when I will use this matrix here. then i will get result 2x plus 4x square okay that means here only linearly independent element be 1 and x plus 2x square because this is be the linear combination of this vector set containing 1 and x plus 2x square is the basis of mst so Dimension of image T is two. Are you getting the idea how we have to find image and how we have to find dimension of image T and basis of image T? Oh, I will see one example. Here the linear transformation from P two R to M two R says that T of A X square plus B X plus C equal to the two cross two matrix. Minus two a plus c, b plus c, minus three b minus three c, and b plus three c. Now verify the basis of Carnell T. To find basis of Carnell T, we have to find T of a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. That imply minus two a plus c equal to zero. B plus C equal to zero, and minus three B minus three C equal to zero, and B plus three C equal to zero. That means we have to find the value of A B C. Okay. In my earlier video, I had seen if T be a linear transformation from R N to R M, such that T of x equal to a x, where a be any m cross n matrix, then kernel of T is the 
solution of homogeneous equation ax equal to 0. This is actually null space of the matrix A and the range of T is the column space of the matrix A. Now I will apply this part. If we want to find kernel of T by this method, write as a matrix from consider this is A, this is B, this is C, then by this equation minus 2, 0, 0, 0, then would be 0, 1, minus 3, 1, and put the value C, 1, 1, minus 3, 3, and here 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay? Notice third and fourth row just multiple of first two row. So this is this would be omitted and here pivot only this part so this part be free variable okay that means for this free variable there exists a solution a x equal to zero and this solution is called null space but we have to find in the question basis of kernel t means null space and this would be since here c is free variable so consider c equal to t then by this equation b equal to minus t and from this line we will get a equal to half t okay that means the basis of kernel t would be kernel t means t of a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 0 matrix here just put the value a b and c then this would be half t x square minus t x plus T. Where T belongs to any real number, that means the basis of kernel T would be just omit T half x square minus x plus 1. Okay, have you understood how we have to find basis of any solution? Oh, well, dimension of cut T here 1. Now, my question, verify the basis of this image. To find basis of this image, column must know. Image means column space of A. Since here, these two columns are pivot. So, basis of image T are minus 2, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 1, minus 3, 1. That means image t is spanned by these two vectors. And since these two vectors are linearly independent, so these two vectors are basis of image t. And dimension of image t is 2. Are you getting? Now I will see our actual goal of this today's lecture rank nullity theorem the rank nullity theorem is suppose v and w are finite dimensional vector space and t be a linear transformation from v to w which is linear then dimension of nullity t plus dimension of mst equal to dimension of v this proof is very easy type proof just see any standard book I will see one nice example by use of rank nullity theorem. Differential operator who is be mapping from P3R to P2R such that dPx equal to P prime x. That means this is actually the derivative of this poly first polynomial. Now obviously dimension of P3R equal to 
4 and I had seen in my earlier video kernel of this transformation here the transformation is denoted as D is just constant polynomial where C belongs to R. That means dimension of null space is 1 then bidiagonality theorem we can tell dimension of image here the operator is denoted as d equal to dimension of v minus dimension of null space of the operator here denoted as 1 this is equal to 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 ok therefore this is actually denoted as rank equal to 3 which is equal to dimension of p, p to r and since rank is equal to whole codomain so obviously this mapping is on to are you getting oh well now i will see some corollary of this theorem if t from v1 to v2 be linear transformation which is 1 1 and on to then dimension of v1 always dimension of v2 this is very interesting because by rank nullity theorem we all of us know dimension of v1 equal to dimension of cut t plus dimension of image t here indicate linear transformation b 1 1 that means dimension of cut t equal to 0 and dimension of image t equal to dimension of v2 this is because because t is on to when t is on to then dimension of image t always equal to codomain that implies dimension of v1 is equal to dimension of v2 when a linear transformation be 1 1 and 1 2 the dimension of v1 equal to dimension of v2 but converse not to if dimension of v1 equal to dimension of v2 that does not always imply tba 1 1 on 2 map but if dimension of v1 equal to dimension of v2 and tba linear transformation from v1 to v2 then t is 1 1 always imply t is on 2 or t is on 2 always imply t is 1 1 when dimension of v1 equal to dimension of v2 the proof is such type if t is 1 1 that means kernel t equal to only singleton set 0 that imply dimension of kernel t equal to 0 and by rank nullity theorem dimension of v1 equal to dimension of cut t plus dimension of image t and here dimension of cut t equal to 0 and our assumption dimension of v1 always equal to dimension of v2 that means dimension of image t equal to dimension of v2 that means image t equal to v2 that implies the mapping t is 1 2 are you getting oh, see this question by diagonality theory which I have indicated in beginning of this lecture first there exists no linear transformation from R5 to R3 which is 1 1 the proof is such type consider a linear transformation T from R5 to R3 here given this transformation be 1 1 since t is 1 1 that means obviously kernel t equal to 0 and dimension of v equal to r5 which is equal to 5 therefore by rank nullity theorem we can tell rank t plus nullity t equal to dimension of v here nullity t equal to 0 and dimension of v equal to 5 that imply rank t equal to 5 but here codomain is R3 that means dimension of W equal to 3 and always image be subspace of codomain 
so rank t equal to 5 cannot possible so there exists no linear transformation from r5 to r3 who is can be 1 1 are you getting why rank nullity theorem is more important to find 1 1 1 2 mapping of linear transformation okay our next example if t be a linear transformation from r3 3 to r3 who is this linear and 1 to 1 then that implies t is 1 to obviously this is right this is true because few minutes ago i have seen when dimension of v and dimension of w similar and when the mapping is linear then 1 1 always imply on 2 and third question if t be a linear transformation from r3 through r3 who is this linear and on 2 then rank t equal to dimension of v obviously this is also similar then i will stop here in my next video i will discuss matrix representation by the basis but at first i will highly recommend you Please see today's video with pay attention because today's video is so important for competitive exam. See you soon. Stay safe and stay positive always. Thank you so much.